Hi, welcome to our Pharma Topics channel. Our topic of our discussion is anti-IgE therapy. Only one drug is available in this category. That is a monoclonal antibody. Let us see the mechanism of action of omalizumab. Uh, the plasma cells, uh, when they are acted upon by interleukins, such as uh, in case of respiratory allergies, uh, such as interleukin 4 or interleukin 13, so it releases uh, the antibodies IgE. So IgE acts on the uh, mast cells and that releases uh, histamine, uh, leukotrienes and uh, prostaglandins. Uh, the IgE can act on the macrophages that can uh, act on uh, T lymphocytes and the IgE can act on the eosinophils. All these things uh, put together uh, can lead to chronic inflammation of the respiratory tract that leads to bronchoconstriction. So, all these sites are blocked by anti-IgE therapy that is with omalizumab. So, that is they block uh, the stimulation of the mast cells, macrophages, T lymphocytes and eosinophils. Increased IgE is a fundamental feature of the allergic asthma. Omalizumab is a humanized monoclonal antibody that blocks the binding of IgE to high affinity IgE receptors such as Fc, Epsilon R1 on the mast cells and prevents their activation by the allergens. It also binds to low affinity IgE receptors Fc, Epsilon R2 and CD23 on the other inflammatory cells including T and B lymphocytes, macrophages and eosinophils to inhibit chronic inflammation. Omalizumab reduces the levels of circulating IgE. It is used for patients with severe asthma, reduces the requirement of oral and inhalation corticosteroids and markedly reduces asthma exacerbations. The major adverse effect of omalizumab is an anaphylactic response which is uncommon that is less than 0.1%. So it's a very short uh, information of anti-IgE therapy which is useful in uh, severe asthma cases. I hope uh, this video will be useful for you. Thank you for listening. Happy learning. Kindly share this to more of your friends. Kindly subscribe to our Pharma Topics channel. Series of videos are available. Uh, in the respiratory pharmacology uh, kindly go through it it is available in the pharma topics channel uh, thank you for listening thank you